There were six founding members of Overwatch. Soldier 76, Reaper, Anna, Reinhardt, and Torbjorn are all playable characters in the game with stories at the heart of the lore. The sixth was only ever mentioned briefly in a blog post on Overwatch's launch until now. We've pieced together every bit of information about this potentially playable character, so let me answer the question, who is the sixth Overwatch member, Liao? We only even know the character's name thanks to a single mention during the Overwatch launch blog post entitled Overwatch is Back. Posted as a news article, the blog post covers the return of Overwatch and its history. When discussing the formation of Overwatch, it says this, their names, Morrison, Reyes, Amari, Liao, Wilhelm, and Lindholm have since become legendary. Well, one of those names certainly isn't legendary, and the strangest thing about Liao is that no one talks about them. I mean, we don't even know for sure if they are male or female. The name is a fairly common Chinese surname, and seeing as Overwatch was founded by the UN and its other founding members came from a mixture of America, Europe, and Africa, it wouldn't be out of place for Liao to be a representative from Asia. More recently, we got what could be the first official image of Liao. During the origin trailer for Anna, this picture appeared, and it depicted a young pharaoh with a mother Anna. We can also see that the rest of the founding members of Overwatch, as well as two of its early recruits, Mercy and McCree. Then we have two so far unnamed characters on either side. Taking into account Liao likely being a Chinese character, I'm going to focus on the gentleman crouched to the left. Now, it's hard to pull much information from the picture, but we can clearly see he looks strong and easily the same build as Soldier 76 in the middle. Of course, this confirms nothing, but it seems that he's around the same age as Morrison, maybe a little younger, and also could be a soldier. Of the founding Overwatch members, we know four were definitely soldiers, and then Torbjorn was the engineer, although he certainly never sat out during combat. Liao could be another soldier, but I wouldn't be surprised if he had a more specialized role as well, potentially a medic, as Arna's healing rifle was created only after the Omnic Crisis. During the recall trailer, we saw a number of what could be potential new heroes. Now, none of them stand out as being the same character as the one from the Ana trailer, but a couple could possibly be the same character or fit the bill of a character of Asian descent. A number of people have also raised the idea that perhaps he could have a connection to Mei being the two Chinese characters. There is certainly a chance, but currently there's no evidence to support it. It's a bit of a stretch, and Mei is a scientist, and Overwatch only branched out into science after the Omnic Crisis, so he's likely to have a more militaristic background. The most interesting thing about Liao is that he's not mentioned anywhere outside of the blog post. None of the characters in the game speak about him, considering five of them were his allies in arms who ended a war together. That seems very strange. However, if that's not the same person we're seeing, then maybe they did die in the war. And if he died in an early mission, that might explain why he's not mentioned by the other team members and why he's not in the art of voice lines. It certainly seems like a possibility and you'd think that would rule him out from being a playable character. But since as Reaper, Soldier 76, and Anna have all been presumed dead, you can't count anything out. Come on, this is Overwatch, you can't count anything out. Now, we'll likely be getting more information about this mysterious character in the graphic novel titled Overwatch First Strike, which releases digitally later this year. And my bet is he dies during their first mission and it unifies the team. But what do you think? Could he be the character depicted in the Ana trailer? Could he be a playable character in the future? And if he is, then what class do you expect him to be? That's the one that I really want to hear from you guys because I keep thinking about it. They've just released healers. Where are they going to go with this? Let me know your theories in the comments below. As always, this has been Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.